there are different methods for the removal of permanent hardness okay in our last session we discussed three methods now the fourth method is synthetic resin method okay this is more prevalent nowadays it is superior over ion exchange method because they remove all types of unwanted cations and anions present in hard water okay so synthetic resins are insoluble polymeric sol solids insoluble polymeric solids insoluble polymeric solids have giant hydrocarbon network okay giant hydrocarbon network containing acidic or basic groups okay containing acidic or basic groups okay so these uh, these are synthetic resins are insoluble polymeric solids having giant hydrocarbon network containing reactive acidic or basic groups okay so synthetic resins are of two types cation exchange resin and anion exchange resin okay first cation exchange resin cation exchange resin this resin contains large hydrocarbon network with acidic groups attached to it okay here the acidic group attached is so3h group okay so cation exchange resin contain uh, a, a large or uh, giant hydrocarbon network with so3h group is attached to it so in the first step high hard water uh, which we are uh, remove from which we are removing the hardness so hard water is passed through a bed of this cation exchange resin okay so first rso3h is converted to rso3na by adding with nacl solution okay so nacl solution is added to rso3h and it gets converted into rso3na okay so when uh, the, this uh, hard water is passed through this resin rso3na na plus ion present in it is exchanged by ca2 plus then mg2 plus and other cations present in hard water okay so the reaction will be like this 2 rna okay this rna on reaction with the metal ions that is ca2 plus or mg2 plus present in hard water gets converted into r2m plus 2na plus this reaction takes place okay so this is the reaction takes place in cation exchange resin in order to obtain pure demineralized water free from all soluble salts we have to use both this cation exchange resin and anion exchange resin so an cation exchange resin removes all cations and anion exchange resin removes all anions okay so uh, if we are using 2rh this is the resin on reaction with m2 plus the uh, metal ions present in hard water gets converted into r2m plus 2h plus okay h plus ions are liberated this r2m is exhausted resin so the resin in the solution is completely converted into uh, this r2m so uh, the resin is exhausted so h plus ions are present in the solution this h plus ion makes the solution acidic okay so in order to neutralize this solution and also to remove anions present in hard water we have to pass this through anion exchange resin so this is the reaction so first hard water is taken it is then passed through see this is cation exchange resin it is passed through a bed of cation exchange resin okay then 
during this process H plus ion this water becomes acidic then it is then passed through this and reaches to this is anion exchange resin ok. So, this anion exchange resin can remove H different anions ok Cl minus anion SO4 2 minus anion all these can be removed by this and also H plus ions. H plus ions gets neutralizes by OH minus ion released by this uh, anion exchange resin. Now, let us discuss the different process taking place in anion exchange resin. Okay. Anion, second is anion exchange resin. Okay. So, this hard water after the removal of cations passed through this anion exchange resin. Okay. Then what happens? Anion exchange resin. This resin contains large or giant hydrocarbon molecule. With reactive basic group. Okay. Basic groups. Like NH2 or OH groups. Okay. So, here what happens? RNH2 first hydrolyzes plus H2O gets converted into RNH3 plus and OH minus. Okay. This will be the first step. Then what happens? This RNH3 plus OH minus with X minus. X minus is the anion. This anion may be Cl minus, HCO3 minus, SO4 2 minus, etc. All these are removed. So, it gets converted into. So, this exchanges. Uh, this anion exchange takes place. So, RNH3 plus X minus plus 2 plus OH minus. Okay. OH minus is released. So, this water contains H plus ions. So, this OH minus ion neutralizes this OH minus and form water. So, neutralization takes place and anions are removed from the hard water. Okay. This is the process taking place. Now, cation exchange. This cation exchange resin can be regenerated by adding dilute HCl. This is dilute HCl is added to this. Okay, so after exhaustion, we if we are adding dilute X HCl, what happens? This cation exchange resin can be regenerated. Similarly, by adding dilute NaOH, anion exchange resin can be regenerated. Okay, so this will be the different process taking place in synthetic resins method, and this is more superior over the other methods. Okay.